Welcome. This short tutorial shows how we can create a title block uh, in Magnet Office. So in any particular job, and we can even open a blank job, we need to go to the command uh, File and Drawing Editor. File Drawing Editor. And we can create a new drawing, which is completely blank. What we tend to do now is we can either um, create a title block from scratch or we can uh, amend an existing title block. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to amend an existing title block. So we can use the, uh, the option um, file and, sorry, insert and title block. What this does now is it uh, offers you the options of the paper size. And uh, we're going to choose an A3 sheet for this particular example. Now, the key thing here is that there is an option here which is called Insert to Edit. If this is ticked, it does allow us then to customize the plain A3 title block itself. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to add some um, extra boxes for legends, um, company names, surveyor names, company uh, images, uh, logos, etc. So I'm going to tick this box. Without ticking the box, it doesn't allow us to edit the title block itself. So now when we open it, we get just this, uh, the outer neat line, as it's called, which is the, the drawing edge, uh, the actual physically physical drawn boundary um, on, the, on the sheet. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to um, create uh, some information regarding the surveyor name, title, and company logo, etc. So we can uh, use these simple drawing tools. So if I say insert line and parallel, we can click on the bottom line and we can uh, create a, uh, a dialog box there. Pressing the escape key will fix that in. And then obviously uh, we can spend more time on this, but I could also insert lines which show vertical divisions uh, like so, which break up the um, break up the, the legend, if you will, at the bottom of the page. So let's just put another one in there. So insert and line. Uh, the other thing we can do is we can then bring in um, a company logo and some text. We've got some text which can be brought from the actual plot itself. So for example, in, in the option insert and keywords, we can uh, bring in a scale option, which will then uh, allow me to print, tell me what scale the final drawing is being printed at. Uh, we can also uh, take the date, which will take the date that the plot is made, and various other options in this uh, in this dialog box here. Um, if you want to put in some text, we can put uh, some text in here. Uh, this is a sample title block. And again, we can uh, edit this text by double clicking as we do uh, normally in the main part of uh, Magnet Office. So we'll just leave that there, for example. Then if we want to do insert an image, we can then uh, browse to our images, picture file. Um, let's find uh, something here uh, that we can use. And we'll take uh, an image here and we'll place that. down in the, uh, the option box there. So now the task is to save this uh, title block so that we can use it uh, for future uh, plots. And uh, the key thing here is that we just want the drawing, the live drawing area to be within this boundary area uh, defined by the inner line. So to do that, we uh, use the command um, file and save as title block file. We know it's an A3, pa uh, A3 page. And then uh, what we'll do now is nest uh, this uh, drawing frame, this floating frame, over the bottom corner. We know that all the frames supplied are at coordinate 0, 0. So I'm just going to go down and type in 0 in the bottom left-hand corner and 0 here. Um, now remember, this is the, this locks the, uh, the, the border uh, on the origin there. But importantly, now we want to select the first point to define the drawing area. We don't want that to be 0, 0. So we release these tick boxes here. And then we can zoom in um, and define this point here, which is the actual physical start of our, our drawing area. 
Uh, left click and that fixes that location in corner form. Zooming out and then zooming to my uh, other corner and left clicking and fixing that. Okay, and then we'll call uh, this title block uh, something relevant and always useful to have the paper size and save that. Okay, now we can dispense with this page and go back into our survey. So we'll go back into the survey view and we'll uh, file and create a plot window. And now the actual newly created title block should be uh, in our library. We'll open that up, frame it on our uh, around our survey, whatever the scale uh, needs to be. And then when, when we're happy with the scale, and we'll see for speed, I'm just uh, creating a scale, uh, a nominal scale here, let's say 2,500. Nest that on the survey and then click OK. And we'll find now that the survey is uh, uh, nested in our drawing area only. There's no overlap on the legend. We have our company logo here and we can uh, print and uh, do uh, all the other things that we need to do to make our drawing presentable for the final plot. And that concludes the short tutorial on customizing a title block in MagnaOffice.